you will need to have your Windows machine up and running with an RDP terminal. You will need your AWS access key so that Jenkins can connect to, to AWS. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Thirdly, the private key we created in that first module for our SSH connection will need that too, as that needs to be configured within Jenkins. And fourthly, we need to make sure that our Linux Ubuntu machine is not running. If Jenkins sees this instance running, it will use it rather than creating a new instance. More on that in a minute too. So with all of that in place, we'll be in a position to start building and installing Jenkins. So we're going to take you right through from installing Jenkins on your Windows instance in the Amazon cloud, right through to kicking off builds or tasks using Jenkins and triggering those builds automatically. So we have 12 parts to cover. We're going to start with installing Jenkins and having a quick look at the configuration areas. Then we'll jump into plugins. Plugins help us extend the features and functionality of Jenkins. We'll need about four different plugins for our setup. Then we're into the main configuration. So that'll cover integration to AWS and configuring Jenkins so that it will start a Linux Ubuntu instance automatically. And as part of that, we'll need to set up some instance installation scripts in part eight that will update and install some additional software on that Linux server. In part nine, we'll look at a few points about how those slave machines, those slave Jenkins machines are managed. And in 10, actually configure the Jenkins so that it will install the application under test. So it will pull down the application source code from GitHub, build it, install it, and run it up. And then in 11, we'll look at some post-build actions that just run a few tests to make sure that the app is running correctly. And finally, we'll look at uh, how to run subsequent builds and installs in part 12.